Welcome back. This last presentation is a bit of everything else that is interesting at the moment. The pandemic has caused a surge in digital and online content, as you may imagine, so this will only cover a few aspects of where we may be going next. First off, we'll look at soundscapes. Music and sound has been studied within archaeology for at least 50 years, with researchers examining musical instruments, acoustics, and reconstructing soundscapes, feeding into what has been characterized as an acoustic ecology that turns a space into a place. It is true that the visual dominates archaeological communication and reconstruction, but there have been many audio projects over the years. Using a variety of specialist and non-specialist equipment, Rupert Hill took acoustic measurements and found a correlation between acoustical context and the Paleolithic cave art in northern Spain. This research included an exploration of how musical instruments sounded in the space, including lithophones, so rocks that ring when struck. Importantly, Till describes a sound-led methodology to contribute to our knowledge of significant archaeological sites. While some of this research has been done in the original archaeological context, other projects have tried to use archaeological evidence to create new soundscapes outside of the interpretive context, and a few have used, either used sound in experimental interpretive projects or in data sonification. For example, I recently collaborated with Seisha nicholson Laley, a York student intern, and David Orton on a project called Zoo Archaeological Symphonies. We looked at a site in the Archaeology Data Service Archive, One Poultry, which has had an extensive study conducted on its zoo archaeological remains. This was excavated by the Museum of London Archaeology in the City of London from 1994 to 1996. Seisha found sounds for each of the animals that were represented in the archaeological assemblage and made two soundscapes. One tried to represent how the site would have sounded during the Roman era occupation. Listen to it now. The next tried to represent the actual archaeological data, so data sonification. This means that we tried to map the volume of the sound to the number of the individual animals represented during each phase of the site. So if you hear a lot of mooing, there are a lot of cow bones uncovered. Spoilers! There was a lot of mooing. Listen to it now. <laughs> 